I've been feeling pretty inspired to build with the new werewolves pack and I've got an idea. This whole new world, especially the downtown area, feels like it's all supposed to be like abandoned factories and old buildings that have kind of been taken over by the wolves. And I love that vibe. We have this like really cool abandoned building that's now a library and stuff like that, but there's none that you can actually live in. And so I was thinking today we could try and build an abandoned factory that's been converted into a house. This may be a mistake because I kind of want to try and do it on a really small lot like this one and also with a very small amount of money, but this pack has a lot of really good stuff for this sort of style, and also this style is very, like, in right now. Granted, what I'm gonna build is not, like, the trendy kind, but hopefully it'll still be kind of cool. I've actually been looking at this building from Debug kind of as inspiration for this. This is just, like, the shell of a building, like, one of these, like, fake ones they've got placed around the world, but I think that this is perfect for what we're trying to do. Ours will be a little bit smaller, like, maybe this big, and I was kind of envisioning that maybe the whole second floor would be lofted, like, maybe we've got just like some bedrooms or something up here and it's kind of open to the bottom floor. And then we've got these like really cool new windows from the pack. I don't know, I just feel like this will all fit together really well for this style of build and hopefully it won't be too expensive. I'm not sure which of these is like the most appropriate to use for something like this. Oh, but the colors are so good on them, aren't they? Oh, and they actually painted the underside too. Oh, thank you, Sims team. This one's kind of cool because it's got like windows on it and stuff, which is interesting. I wonder if we could sort of do a combo of the two different roof textures and then just have like the little window pieces on this side. That looks interesting. I don't really understand what the difference is between this wallpaper and like the base game version of it. I won't lie. I know we have like this one that has the new paint at the bottom, but this one just feels like the base game one with more swatches. And even then it doesn't look that different to me. Here's kind of what I'm thinking for the shell of the outside. I feel like this may be a mistake because I kind of spent a lot of money doing this and I haven't really furnished anything, but I feel like this looks good. Okay, so if I have this, oh no, 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 no. Don't do that, don't do that. Maybe if I had this much of it turn into like a, a loft space or maybe even less of it become a loft space? I'm not really sure. I feel like maybe the more of it, the better. I won't lie, I don't think I like that fence too much, but maybe once we add on to it with like some other stuff, it'll be nicer. Should we do like a two wide staircase or is that a waste of money? Also, why on earth does it look like this? Let's try it like that. Oh, that's better because it just has one pole. Okay, that's more what I want it to look like. I wonder if we could use something like this. Can they still like step underneath that or is it too tall? I wonder if this was medium wall. Uh, I don't know. That would be so cool though, right? Wait, it deleted my pole. Oh, I guess I could put my column up all the way on top too. And then we could put the brick all the way around the inside. Why do they have to be mowing right now? Can you not tell that I am busy? Is this floor unreasonable for downstairs? I think it looks pretty good, but I kind of want to use something different upstairs. Maybe even like that wood. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, I'm thinking I might even put like one of these public bathroom door things in here. I kind of like the idea of us pretending that it like fully used to be like a public space that we've kind of just moved into. If only we had showers and stuff that kind of matched better in a space like this. Oh my God, the leaf blowers. I'm trying to record. I'm posting this a little bit later than I'm filming it, but I'm making this like the day that I first got early access to the werewolves pack. I just want to play it. I want to play so bad, but they're being so loud. Okay, this is a very very, very simple bathroom. I wonder if we could get any other like, I don't know, subtle sorts of decor objects. Maybe if we had like some scratches on the door or something, I don't know. I'm kind of struggling with funds on this because I want this to be a starter home that you could like download and play in, but I also want it to be cute. <laughs> so it's really hard to find that balance. Oh no. Oh, well, no wonder the sink looked weird. I had the counters placed wrong. <laughs> well, dang it. What do I do? Do I use like the weird beige or should I make it white still? Ah, oh, this place is gonna be way too nice. I I want it to look like an old abandoned factory, but let's be real. If I'm the one building it, it just won't. Like it's it's still gonna be too fancy. I wonder if we could kind of like alt place some of the furniture, like angle it or something, if that might help make it feel better. It kind of fills the space better too. Oh my gosh, I adore this bookshelf. I think that looks so cool. That was only 250 simoleons too. Okay, here's kind of what I'm thinking layout wise. So we have like a little living room space, bookshelf, small dining table, little kitchen. I'd kind of like to get a few more like sort of decorative items up here, but I need to think about how much money we have. Oh, this is cheaper. Oh, that's better. What kind of swatches are on that? Oh, that one's cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, we should use that. Okay, and that leaves the question of what the heck do we put over here? I don't know. 
I did not think that far ahead. And then also upstairs, what the heck do we put in this whole area? Again, did not think that far ahead. Okay, so in my head, I'm kind of building this place for two Sims to live in. I'm sort of visualizing like one Sim that's a human that has been like bitten and is turning into a werewolf and then like a friend or something or like somebody else who already is a werewolf. It's always tough doing builds with new packs for the first time because I kind of have like an idea in my head of what I think this place would look like, but also it's my first time using the pack, so I don't even really know what it comes with. So it's it's kind of just an experiment, you know? <laughs> We're kind of just putting stuff down, hoping it works out. All right, I say we definitely need a computer. Some posters or something? Oh, these are quite cool, actually. <laughs> Those are really nice. And then I was sort of envisioning that maybe over here in the corner, there could be like some workout equipment. I don't really know how much of it, like realistically, how much is unreasonable to have up here? I don't really know. Oh, I do love that broken mirror. I think that's pretty cool. Plus like it being near the punching bag, kind of works. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's there's no baby in this house, obviously, but that bassinet is adorable. I wonder if maybe we have this telescope kind of out the window. I think they can still use it like that. It looks like the space is on this side, but we can test it. Oh, <laughs> you can't do it inside. Oh, duh. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Sorry. Well, it's a good thing I play tested then because otherwise it would not have worked. All right, how are we feeling about this? This like upstairs area. I feel like maybe I need to get like one more item or even if we had like some scratches on stuff. What if I put some scratches on the posters? Oh, they kind of clip. Never mind. We have this poster. Oh, that one is cool. <laughs> Do I want to use that? I'm not sure. It's hard for me to figure out like what vibe this place is supposed to be. Okay, thoughts on a fish on the wall because that's free and it just feels right. Okay, this is a display shelf for like all your relics and stuff, the collectibles. That could be good to have by the front door or at least in this open area. And then I was kind of thinking maybe this card table could be good for a couple reasons. I think number one, it would probably be pretty fun to play with, but also it fills up the space pretty well. <laughs> So do we like how those chairs look all mismatched like that? I think it's good. And maybe another one of these like wolf things could be good on the wall because they have a few different swatches like that sort of one maybe. Okay, let's think about small decorations in the kitchen because I do want to put a couple of things on the shelf. Oh, this is so annoying to try and place items on. Oh my God, <laughs> we're going to be here like all day. Can I just do like those? Not a ton of stuff, just a couple things, just something. So it looks like I've got some sort of furniture, maybe a fire alarm. You know what? I'm actually really happy with the interior of this building. I do want to add some stuff outside. There is a lot of stuff. <laughs> like a lot of random debug stuff that hopefully will work. Oh, those are very large tires. Wow. I wonder if we had some like bushes kind of growing out of this old car. Oh, and then like some random trash piles and stuff. I might even be able to afford to buy some trees. I'm not really feeling super confident about what I've done here. <laughs> I don't think it looks that good, but I suppose maybe if I scooted it over a little. Okay, yeah, and then maybe once I've got some more terrain paint and stuff down, it'll help. Oh wow, that is a very large billboard. <laughs> Oh my god. I thought it would be like half the size, like maybe like that big or something. Okay, maybe we use a different color car to hopefully have like a little bit more, I don't know, contrast. Oh, there is just so much stuff in debug from this pack. I feel like it's really coming along, but it's also very much out of my comfort zone. So I'm kind of struggling to figure out what I want to place. There is a mailbox that came with this pack. I don't know if we should use it or not. Like, I'm not really sure if that fits in perfectly, but it is kind of cute. Help, help, help. I placed this tree. Okay. I was like, I placed the tree off the lot by accident and now I can't get it back. Okay, I think I've placed enough stuff down outside. Next, I want to try and get some terrain paint. I feel like the terrain paint is going to make it like really come together. I feel as though part of the problem right now is that it's all very stark. Just like these random piles of trash just kind of like chilling on top of like beautifully manicured grass. So once we put some terrain stuff down, it'll hopefully like blend it all in a little bit better. We could probably even use like some of this pine. This is like the new terrain paint that came in the update. I wonder if I just put it like around most of the lot. I do like that little planter box. That's kind of cute. Oh, you know what? We could probably get two like proper planter boxes. Oh, that could be good actually. Ah, and I wonder about this like factory fan or something if we put it up there just to have like, I don't know, something else. <laughs> it's only 120 simoleons and it'll definitely add some like interest to the inside of the building. Do I scoot it back one? 
Is that gonna delete my wall? Ah, it did not. Okay, I think it being back a little bit further kind of helps with like the placement of those planter boxes. Right now it's only 17,000 simoleons. So somehow miraculously we have kept it like under the starter home budget and it feels really big. Oh, maybe I'll put an easel or something out here. That's a decent skill building item too. We actually have a lot of those. Granted, there's not like proper bedrooms or anything, but for what I needed for my gameplay, I think this should be perfect. And it's been fun getting a chance to like explore the new build items and stuff. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about the build from this pack. If you liked this video, I've already posted a ton of other werewolf content on my channel. So feel free to check that out. I'll have some link down below. And if you like the Sims, I make Sims videos literally every single day on my YouTube channel. So feel free to subscribe. And I think on that note, I'm gonna go and I will catch you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. I did build this to play in and I'm currently doing like a little mini series let's play. So if you want to check that out, I'll have that linked for you too. I'm posting my videos like way out of order, but it just makes more sense this way. Okay. I needed the house first, but I want to post the let's play first. It's, it's confusing.